owner of Brookhaven has hidden tons of stuff from you guys. And as the Brookhaven detective that I am, I will be uncovering a bunch of myths that you probably don't know about. The one we're gonna start off has to do with house number 24. For that, we need this premium house. The myth Aww. tells that this place hides something beneath it. Now we don't go inside of it, but we go around to the back of it. Just trust me on this one. From here, we go down the mountain. And as we go down, we should. Wait, who are you? You can only enter under one condition. If the person that's watching the video leaves a like and subscribe. Well, that's easy. I know you guys will leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, so I don't even have to worry. Now you can go right in. All right, nicely done, guys. We'll need a flashlight for this one. This place is dark. Dude, look at that. This is actually real. Look at the size of this thing. Is this water? It looks like some bubble particles are going up. Let's try to cross into it. But how would I be able to do it? I'll need a ladder for that. There we go. Now we need to get the bed in there. I think that works fine enough. I'm kind of afraid. I don't know if this is gonna. Whoops, I just fell down. So that secret we can also see if we go to the lower floor of this house. We just need to place a ladder anywhere, and then on top of us we'll put the bed. Then you just jump, and we'll be taken to this little nook, which is that same place we looked at before. We're just inside it now. It's quite a fun place you can use to do some hide and seek. I bet you that no one would think you're here, even more if we go into this pillar just like that. For the next secret, you must have already seen my shorts about it, but I'll still show you guys because it's just epic. You're already tired of hearing that if you lie down, you fly up on the trampoline. This is old news, but still pretty cool. We can actually flip that idea on its head. Just go up to it and spawn a vehicle on top of it, because as we do it, it'll fly up into the sky until it crashes down near you. Like in the public pool like that. Now, what would happen if we threw a school bus on a trampoline? Would it go even higher? Let's try it out. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! It just vanished. Where is it even? Oh, there it is next to the motel. It doesn't look like it went as far as I imagined. So let's try it with the biggest vehicle in the game. This giant truck. Let's go to that pool and see what's up. Are you ready? Go! Oh, well, it just fully fumbled that one. It didn't even go a bit far. Kinda disappointed, to be honest. But damn, it went fully into the floor. Those goods are gone. For our next secret, we need to go into this tunnel. Then we need to get a bed as always. But we need to find the right spot and place it right over here. If we lie down on it now, nothing will happen. We'll just look at Brookhaven's geometry. Even if it can be kind of cool, it isn't much of a big deal. But if we go up to this wall and look towards the bed that we just placed, then open up the vehicle menu and choose this guy right here. As we spawn it, it'll be fully bugged into this wall. Look at it jittering and shaking right there. It's like the car is scared or something. Calm down, man. Can we still sit on it? Wait, it bugged even more. His tires are literally coming out the top. How is that even possible? This guy really ain't doing so good. Let me try something out. Let's put it at top speed. And let's see if something happens if we keep driving it. You can even see that it's moving on its own. It's gone to the end of the tunnel. And I think it stopped there. Then, what happens if we take each of the tires out? Normally vehicles go into the floor when we do that. It's still here, just its tires are all scattered now. Next up, we need to go to this bridge. Right here where we have the arch. If we go below, right on this side, we need to get a bed in there and lie down on it. Just look at this. There's a little hidden nook in here. This is another awesome place to hide yourself in. I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it. So enjoy that. It's so hidden that I don't even know how I'm getting out of here. I'm stuck. Please someone help me. Some say that the church hides something bizarre beneath it. And that's what we'll be seeing. To do this one we'll need to go down here. We go up to this wall and use the bed as we do. With it there. You guessed it. We lie down on it as usual. Now that we're here we can even see below the whole map of Brookhaven, which is always nice to be able to do. But if we focus on the church's location, we can find a hidden coffin in there. It doesn't have a name or anything. It actually says for you to enter one, but it's pretty creepy to have one of those beneath it. Now we'll be going towards the waterfall for a cavernous secret. If you don't know, this one was added not too long ago. But still, not a lot of people know about it. For it, we need to go over this way, which is even connected to the new valley added into the mountain, but that's not related to what I'm gonna show. If we continue going over here, we'll find this solid rock wall. And if we come close, the wall will move like a slide.
sliding door. For now, there's not really anything of note in here, but a nook like this will for sure be used in a future update, so keep your eyes on the channel whenever they do. Let's buy a submarine, because beneath all this water, there's quite a secret to uncover, for that we'll need to go down the mountain just like we did before. Here we are, and just look at how it is down here. This is so weird. I even got a ladder in case we can swim in this water. Whoa, this is kind of weird. If my camera faces this way, those things just disappear. We have to turn it just to look at it. Now the big question is, can we swim on that? Let me try. And I think that was a no. If we go into this military base and go over to their indoor gym, you can see that there's some dumbbells if we're in the mood for some exercise. The thing is that there's a bug whenever we delete the house while doing it. It will disappear leaving that big dumbbell in our hands. Do you understand that I'm walking with 500 pounds in my right hand? Walking like it's nothing to me? Maybe I'm a lot stronger than I thought. If you don't know, this mansion has its own hidden safe. For those that don't know, this was a newly added mansion into the game. And for its safe, we need to go over to this bedroom, to its bathroom, and then the closet. On the side of this shelf, there will be this button that we just click, and we're teleported straight into the safe's room. Between all these animations that are in the game, there's one that is quite a crazy bug. For that we'll need a horse. Good old Sugarfoot will help us out. Now let's go into the animation and use the KO'd one, which makes us get knocked out onto the floor. Just chilling there. With that, let's try to ride our horsey. And that's what happens. We're literally floating around like we're riding our horse. We can even change its speed, but it seems like that fixed the bug. But even if we try to leave the horse alone, the game really doesn't let us. It's like I'm falling from the horse forever. We can even move him a little, but it's very slow. Let's try the KO'd animation again. And dude, look at that. The same happened, but now I'm not the only one on the floor, I guess. That's so weird. If we try to hit one, we'll now be knocked out but fall on our back. And if we ride our horse now, we'll bug a whole lot more. Wait, what just happened? I think we just bugged into this square. Help, let's go to the hospital. Next, go over to one of those patient beds. If we now dance and jump on top of the bed, we'll now be totally bugged into the bed. Can you guys see how weird I look both dancing and lying down on this bed? The medics are gonna think I'm crazy. This works with any animation. We just need to jump onto it and we'll totally defy gravity in all the ways possible. There's still tons of bugs we can see, but that's gonna have to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video and comment down below any other bugs that you want to see my cover. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now. They may be buggy, but they're fun. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more Roblox always at your door. Have a good one!